Hi folks, I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me. Two days until Christmas and I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. Let you know I did post your news roundup. It's on my other YouTube channel. It's also free to use um, there on my Patreon account and also Rumble. Videos I'm posting currently there on Patreon are free for everyone to watch. My way of giving back to the community for all of you that have subscribed to me here on YouTube. Thank you very much. Thank you to many of you who have bought me cups of coffee. Need that coffee to keep going. Thank you. And for the donations on PayPal. It's the end of the month. A friendly reminder that uh, YouTube thinks a lot of you might be bots and have been unsubscribing you from my channel. Because they think you're a bot, they also take away income. So when I get a cup of coffee, or maybe three or four cups of coffee, that's usually what I drink during the day. Yeah, it greatly helps me out. And the PayPal donations. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. So jump on over to my Watch Your News Roundup. YouTube won't let me put it here. They'll uh, demonetize it and not send you notices. But like I said, it's on my Patreon account. It's on Rumble. And it is also on my other um, news channel I have here on YouTube. So early this morning, those of you there in South Carolina, you had a magnitude 2.6 earthquake. Yeah, it was at um, 3.16 a.m. USGS said it was a magnitude 2.2, but it was actually a magnitude 2.60. Yeah, let's take a look. This is an intercontinent earthquake. Normally, intercontinent earthquakes do not, um, are not supposed to happen, I should say. Um, but because there's mountain building and things like that, yeah, pressure is built, so there is an occasional earthquake. This was fault movement. You know, the uh, plates are a moving. So that's the uh, seismic wave. And if I go back to the spectrogram, you can see it was a really shallow earthquake. One and a half miles below sea level, all earthquakes are measured from sea level. So going to Google Earth, let's see, let's bring it out so you can see the whole coastal area. Up over here is Duke Power Nuclear Power Plant. Um, this re um, earthquake station that's close to this location, I can never get that one working. But this is the location where they said um, the 2.2 happened, but actually it was a magnitude 2.6. Looks like we got a quarry there and some houses. So the monitor that I am using is a little bit farther west. Let me bring this out and I'll show you. Over here. This one right here. Uh, JSC. So that's why there's a little bit longer P wave on it. The first wave of the earthquake would be considered the P wave. Yeah, intercontinent earthquake. But there's been other ones. The most recent, I would say, would probably be this one right here. A small microquake. Oh, went small. Let's make it bigger. Right there. That one, too, was real shallow. That one comes in as a magnitude 0 0.76. Let's see, 22.28 um, universal time. So that would be about 5.28 p.m. local time today. And then we got two more. This is when I pulled the files. We got another one right here. Um, 23.31 universal. Uh, 6, uh, 6.31, 6.32 p.m. tonight. That one comes in as a magnitude 1.05. If you hear pounding out there and hear that, that's my landlord pounding out there on the uh, outside wall, the window. Yeah, I overheard him talking the other day about how he deliberately pounds extra hard just to drive me crazy. Yeah, yeah, such nice people. Anyways, so there's that one. Again, a magnitude 1.05. And then 
shortly afterwards, let's see, 2335 or 635 p.m. there in South Carolina, that comes in as a magnitude 1.01. .01. And that's all it's showing right now for earthquakes. Let's go back up over here. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Let's take a look at that signature. Okay. Yeah, fault movement. Yeah, the plates are moving, aren't they? Let's look at that. Look at that. Yep, slow moving tremor. Yep, low frequency tremor. I'll just pull a small section of it and you can see. Yeah, see it's got sharpened points. Yep, the plates are moving. I've talked about this as the Earth magnetic field gets weaker and weaker. Yeah, the continents are moving. Oh, I just seen over here. We got one marked in red. Right there. Yeah, some popping of the ground. Uh, 2056 universal time. So that would have been at 3.56 p.m. yesterday afternoon. Yeah, a little pop in there. The strain is building. All right, so, yeah, that's that one right there. And, yeah, we got another one right there. Yeah, lots of little ones. Um, You probably felt it because Earth... Oh, look, I got some data missing. Probably felt it because, um, yeah, earthquakes are felt over a large area. Now, this one right here, this 2.6. 54 people did report it to USGS Did You Feel It website. Looks like it was felt as far as Charlotte, North Carolina. What did they say it was? Intensity level 3. Wow. Okay, intensity level 3. 3. Now, USGS, I believe, they gave it an intensity level of 4. So, who said it was shaking stronger? I don't see it on here, but then USGS doesn't always put the earthquake reports up that people sent in. I know that for experience. And other people have told me the same thing when they sent in reports uh, for their location. Yeah, it never showed up on the map. Here you can see it's intensity level 4, which means it was felt indoors by many people. Outdoors by a few. You're more active. At night, which it was, um, some may have been woken up. Dishes, windows, doors would have been rattling. Automobiles, maybe you just parked somewhere and you felt your car shaking. Well, it was. All right, I don't know if you can see this. This is the intensity level map. I don't know what's going to happen when I click on it. There's a lot more areas located or posted on here. And when I do that, I get less yeah i get less i tried to make it bigger so you guys could see it let's bring this out yeah let me go back let's see if i can make it bigger that's as big as i can make it i'm sorry but we got uh dentsville kind of north a little bit east so here's dentsville down here a little bit northeast which would probably be in this Let's see, what is it? Lake Carolina subdivision, it looks like. Or maybe Brookhaven. That doesn't mean it was intensity level 4, but yeah, they got people that felt it all the way over here. Let's see how many miles that'd be. Somewhere around 13, almost 14 miles. So I would like to know, um, how did your pet react, or pets react? Did you feel dizzy? What was the motion of the earthquake? A wavy feeling, right to left, up and down. Yeah, give me all that information and share it with others on here. So that's all I have for you right now. If you have any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for sharing my videos with others. And make sure you're still subscribed. Yeah, I hear that all the time. People get unsubscribed. As always, um, have a very Merry Christmas, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.